guys and welcome to a new video in today's reading we are going to take a look on whether you're on your person's mind what are they currently thinking um just the overall energies regarding what's in their mind and what are they currently uh, thinking and feeling about you okay um this is a pick a card reading so if you don't know how that works i'm going to explain it really quickly so we have here three groups that you can choose from this is group number one group number two and group number three um, make sure to choose from your intuition whatever group resonates the most with you if you need more time you can always pause the video and after you're done um, choosing your group you can scroll down into the description box where I left all the timestamps for the three groups and you can just click on them and it's going to get you right to your reading okay so let's get started Hey guys, who chose group number one? This is going to be your reading. So let's see what messages and energies we have for you surrounding your person's mind. What are they thinking about you? Or are you on their mind? So yeah, let's get into it. Okay, group number one. So we have for you five of wands, um, the moon, and two of pentacles okay so i can see that your person is currently not having the easiest time um, mentally i can see that they're feeling quite overwhelmed and there's just a lot going on in their lives at the moment i feel like they are trying to juggle many things at once um they're trying to like just make the best out of their situation and um and and just like deal with everything in the right way but they're just not doing that great mentally um i see a lot of conflict happening in your person's life or in their mind yeah it can be either with just people in their life family members just people that have to do with um with them it can be at work or it can just be conflict in their own head and i think it's more so about that you know it's more so um regarding their mental space i see them being confused slightly confused but more so just up in their head yeah they're trying to just manage everything that's going on into their life on one hand but on the other hand they're trying to um just stable their mental health and mental space they are very overwhelmed and and also overthinking a lot there's a lot of overthinking involved, of um, a lot of thoughts to process, and a lot of just inner conflict. Yeah, um, maybe maybe they're not sure of something. They're trying to process something like a situation, um, and and they just don't know how to deal with that and how to see and how to view that situation. Um, also with the moon there's something that makes them disappointed like that made them disappointed either in the past or just like in the moment they are feeling deception yeah um, they are feeling like something in their life is different than what they thought it is like something a certain aspect in their life um, felt or was seen in a certain way by them and it ended up being something different that they thought mm, yeah it's it, it made them feel disappointed and it made them feel deception and this new thing this new image of that particular situation that came to life and um, that came to light um made them feel like even more overwhelmed and it made them feel that they are just quite unsure and undecided and 
it's just too much going on and, and it led them to have this inner conflict as well. Yeah, they're not doing their best at the moment. Um, I'm going to pull out a little bit more cards. So we have, um, just making sure you see them, Page of Cups. We have Knight of Wands. And also we have Nine of Cups. Yeah. Well, when it comes to your person, um, whether they're, you're on their mind or not, I can see that you are definitely on their mind and they're thinking about you. Um, and the way they view you is as someone who is just accomplished, someone who has everything sorted out and it's basically their opposite because they are dealing with a lot at the moment and their life feels nothing like um having everything sorted out and and it's not quite stable um they are going through a hard time at the moment and they're trying to process things and and juggle many things um and just get over this entire situation to to reach the other side feeling more calm and feeling more like you do because they see you um as someone who is very calm collected someone who is just okay with what's going on into your life you you've done um everything for you to feel accomplished and they also see you as someone who is very um, passionate and and with a lot of determination someone who is just going for it uh, if they want something they're gonna go for it and they're going to achieve it and they have a lot of creativity and a lot of ideas and and not only the idea itself but you also you know, put in action for that uh, particular idea in order to make it happen and manifest things um, they see you as as a role model maybe for themselves they see you as who they would like to be. I feel like they feel very inspired by you. Um, like you inspire them with your um, personality, with how you deal with things, with how um, you accomplish things and you, and you also don't forget to enjoy those things. And they, they would like to feel more like you and they would like you in their life maybe because it's going to give them that balance that they need um yeah or maybe they're trying to sort this all the things out in order to um match you you know and and be in the same kind of headspace and in the same um position as you when they're going to um you know try to give this connection a try and and just build a connection with you yeah um i want to see what the oracle cards are saying so we have first for romantic um oracle cards we have romantic feelings your feelings are real and worth exploring so I guess that they're, they really have feelings for you, yeah? As this card is suggesting, they really have feelings for you and they um, think that these feelings are worth exploring. They have real feelings for you, but they just have a lot going on into their life at the moment. And um, the other card is deception and it, it pairs up very well with the card the moon um because both of them talk about deception um and it says someone who is wearing a false self mask in this relationship um maybe maybe it's about them maybe they try to to look a certain way like they have have it all figured out um 
in order to not let you see all that's going on into their head because maybe you're going to think that they're just a mess and and you're going to reject them um and maybe they feel disappointed by themselves because they're not 100% being honest because he says someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship maybe they are the one wearing that false um self mask and they're just trying to look their best for you they're trying to put up the best image of themselves for you but deep down inside it's it, it, there's a lot going on um, in their head there there's a lot of overthinking and there's a lot of overwhelming <clears throat> maybe they're just too busy and they need to find a, find a balance in their life um, and just be honest and real with you and um, just talk th talk things through um, but they really think about you and they have super real and uh, strong feelings for you and that's that's it you're on their mind for sure and they, and they have a really um, amazing um, image of you you know in their head they, they have an amazing opinion about you um, their view of you is as someone who is like their role model or like someone who has it all figured out and they want to be that person too and they would like to be that person too for you in order to um, just match the energies there yeah let's see the other two oracle cards um we have prosperity lies ahead new moon in taurus um this speaks about um about their vision of the future with you so um, they think that definitely having you around and and building up on this connection is going to bring them uh, prosperity i don't I, I don't mean it like financially i mean about emotional um abundance yeah um because prosperity is basically abundance I'm, I'm talking about emotional um prosperity they think that having you around and being in a connection with you is going to just build that um, emotional um, balance and that they're going to find their balance their inner balance um, with you and they think that all these things that are go happening in their life is going to they're going to end at one point and they're finally going to see um, you know peacefulness and quietness um, peace of mind on the other side of that situation and the other one is surrender to the divine I guess they are thinking that the solution to their to their problems to their overthinking is just let it go to just surrender um, and I think that's a good way to deal with certain aspects that are not in your control because if there's stuff that has um, they have control over they're going to um, you know put some action in it and 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 do something about it but when it comes to stuff that they maybe they just can't put their finger on they they can't really um, control um, it, it, they think that it's better to just surrender and just let it go and and see where it leads them and maybe they have the same um, the same way of thinking uh, about having a connection with you about you to just surrender to the divine and let life um do the work for them and see where this connection is going to lead um and how everything is going to turn out you know in the end Okay guys, this was your reading group number one. I really hope you enjoyed it and found some messages in it. If you did like, uh, make sure to give a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel for more readings in the future. 
and also don't forget to click on the notification bell to be the first one to know when I'm going to post a new video. And I'll see you in my next one. Take care until then. Bye-bye. Hey, group number two, this is going to be your reading. So let's see what messages we have for you about whether you're on your person's mind or just what's going on into their um, headspace at the moment. Okay, so first we have the Emperor. Then we have Three of Wands and Ace of Cups. Okay. Group number two, I can see your person is um, doing very well mentally at the moment. They are just very confident in themselves. They have a really good um, opinion about themselves. They have a lot of um, self-respect and self-love. Um, and they also um, have very strict boundaries uh, for people around them. Um, they're not afraid to express those boundaries and stand up for themselves. Um, they are just in this well-respected um, position at the moment and maybe in, a, in an authority kind of position. Maybe they're in a leader position at work, in their career, um, you know, um, but they are feeling very um, stable, very grounded. Um, they're very stable emotionally and mentally. Um, yeah, they're doing great. And also I can see that they are, um, they gained quite a lot of experience up until now and they feel like they, they, they have what to share with the other people. They have quite a bit of knowledge and experience to um, share and um, maybe help other people. I see um, they feel in a position where they can help others and they can uh, protect their loved ones as well. Yeah. Um, also, I can see that they are just looking forward for new opportunities. They are doing a lot of plans at the moment. They are doing a lot of plans and also they're so ready to um, jump on any new opportunities that might rise up. Um, maybe in again in their career, maybe um, opening a new like a, a, a new business um, or just um, maybe spiritually they're ready and they're looking forward to grow. They are looking for expansion. They want to expand. They want to evolve and grow and just um, maybe learn a new skill. Um, it can be like learning or, um, you know, maybe it has to do with their spiritual um, side and they're trying to expand that as well. But they are just in a position where they're feeling good about themselves and they're very sure on themselves and they're just ready for um, new opportunities, new situations, new chapters in their life and they're even looking forward for, it, for them and they're doing a lot of plans of expansion and of growth. Um, and also I see they're very open emotionally at the moment. They are, they have their heart like wide open and they have a lot of feelings um, to share and they are so in tune with their own feelings and um, want to start maybe a new relationship, a new connection um, with this Ace of Cups. Yeah, I definitely think that they might have feelings for you, so you're on their mind because um, with this Ace of Cups, it's all about um, new new relationship, new uh, beginning, new feelings um, involving someone, you know, a person. Um, yeah, I feel like they have so much love to give. Um, they are just 
ready to open up to a new connection and create a deep bond. Um, they're just feeling very generous, um, very compassionate towards others. As I said, they feel quite um, protective over their loved ones and um, they feel like they have this position of power um, from where they can um, maybe help other people and, and protect them um, as well. All right, now let's see the cards on how they see you. So we have the Empress. Oh my God, they think that you are their perfect match. They think that you are their soulmate. See how they think about themselves. Um, they they saw themselves as the emperor, and they see you as the empress. Um, they see you as like so elegant, so feminine, um, like sensual. They see you like their their soulmate and their perfect match. That that those are the best words I can describe. Um, the way they see you. Um, they feel like you have this feminine energy surrounding you and, and this nurturing um, and caring personality um, and, and they just love that about you and they see you as someone who is going to be their like they, they see you as their wife as their potential mother of their children um, wow I, I'm like it's amazing how this um, energy is feeling about you know they're what they are thinking about you we have um also the hermit and nine of swords so yeah they see you as this super amazing um caring and empathic person but they see you as being super anxious or sad about something they see you um tired of something something it's giving you um sleepless nights um anxiety and and a lot of stress and sadness and they they are definitely not feeling good about that they they're just willing to be there for you they they would like to um you know as i said with the fatherly um, figure they would like to be that person that's going to help you that's going to be there for you and that you can count on um they want to protect you from anything that's upsetting you they want to be there for you um there's so much sweet energies and like love surrounding this reading group number two and and also they see you as you're quite lonely and and um like taking a step back from from them and and they see you as having to deal and process some aspects in your life um that's giving you a lot of um stress and anxiety and they would love to be there for you they would love to um to be that person that is is giving you support yeah they they are so ready um, to open up for you and, and, and shower you with all the love and, and caring um, that they can provide for you. Um, they're just, you know, like giving their heart uh, on their hand for you. They, they just would love to open up their heart space and, and just keep you there and protect you and, and give you everything they have. Um, they're very giving, you know, they feel like they could give everything, all the best that they have for you. They would love to just build this beautiful connection with you um, and they would love to help you um, get through this hard time. I love this. I love the way they see you. I love these energies. Um, but it's these two cards, um, more so the Nine of Swords, that are like um, bothering me. You know, it's they're they're just you guys. You you're just like soulmates. You know. Okay, let's see um, the the Oracle cards. So. 
we have religious factors your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path um, this might have to do with um, the tree of wands which um, talks about expansions as I said it might have to do with their spiritual side um, maybe they're um, as I said they're trying they're, they're thinking that you are their as I said they're thinking that you are their soulmate so they might think that um, this is like a, um, a love match made in heaven um, they, they might think that it's like faith and destiny that brought you together um, and they're just ready to expand and, and take um, this connection to the next level and and grow um, together you know um, yeah very beautiful reading and also we have love yourself first you your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive um, I think that your person feels that you would have to love yourself more because they see you as this super loving and caring person this gentle soul um, and that you deserve to love yourself and see yourself for who you are and and respect yourself maybe um, self-respect it's like creating boundaries um the way they do and and to prevent this nine of swords from happening this anxiety and stress and sadness and sleepless nights um they want the best for you so they they would love you to see yourself as they see you and and just give yourself that uh, love that you deserve and and have that self-respect that you deserve i feel like your person has such beautiful feelings for you such a beautiful way of thinking about you um and they're just ready to open up and, and and express those feelings for you and give you everything they have. Let's see the other two um, oracle cards. We have Don't Let Pride Get In Your Way, Full Moon in Leo. Um, maybe a person, um, because they're so confident, maybe they are scared that um, they might come across as arrogant to you because they see that you're not doing super well um, mentally and they don't want to scare you uh, they don't want to they don't want you to think that they are just this arrogant person um they want you to see them for the caring and giving person that they are and um they're trying to manage um this uh, by not letting um you see them as pride you know prideful like as someone who is just arrogant and um yeah and maybe they just want to inspire you um with with their own um self-respect and confidence um in their way that of dealing with um others and and you know setting boundaries for your own um for your own well-being and the other card is the end of a tough cycle approaches full moon in capricorn um yeah your person might think that this um this harsh situation that you're going through is just a tough cycle that's going to end and um they think that it's going to end soon and they're just here to um you know they're there at every step you take and they're there to support you no matter what and they're here to give you all the um, support that you need in order to overcome this uh, tough cycle and if, if you're getting like you know like you're getting lonely and you like to take a step back and, and remove yourself from um, this connection they are not upset about it I can just imagine them um, like sitting at the end of that like a, like at the end of a road and that's like your like hard situation happening and they're just there waiting with their arms wide open and with their heart wide open um just ready to embrace you and and take good care of you and and shower you with love and and you know just these beautiful feelings they have for you and and help you see yourself for 
the nice person that you are and help you see how they see you as this nurturing um, loving caring person as their soulmate as their future wife and mother of their children there's like ah uh, so, so such a deep reading such deep energies um, surrounding your reading group number two and they think that that this whole situation that's giving you so much um, trouble at the moment it's gonna end soon and they are there to support you no matter what um, ready to open you know their heart um, for you so this was your reading group number two I really hope you enjoyed it I definitely did um, make sure to give a thumbs up to this video and also subscribe to my channel for more readings in the future and also don't forget to click on the notification bell to be notified every time I post a new video and I'll see you in my next one take care until then bye bye hey guys who chose group number three this is going to be your reading so let's see what messages we have for you uh, regarding what's on your person's mind um, if you are on their mind if they're thinking about you so let's see so first we have four of swords then we have wheel of fortune and we have knight of cups okay I can see that your person is having a little bit of a break um, maybe they had a lot going on recently in their life um, maybe they had to work a lot um, in order to achieve something um, anyway they really need a break at the moment and they took that break for themselves um, they just took a step back um, in order to recharge um, maybe they just have some you know family issues going on um, you know maybe health worries maybe just they just exit a relationship and they need to heal um, mentally and physically as well um, basically they're just taking some time for themselves in order to find that um, balance back um, maybe reevaluate their life and priorities yeah they just need some time apart to gather their thoughts and feelings um, to ground um, yeah so solitude for them now is what they need and to clear their mind to find to find mental clarity and maybe they're just meditating a lot um, recently mm, yeah they just really need that um, solitude at the moment yeah they need to gain back their um, balance and their strength emotionally and physically um, mentally as well but they do think that um, stuff is going to change <laughs> that things are going to change in their favor they think that they their work their hard work um, or it, you know it's gonna pay off and and things are going to change into their own favor and um, they're going to get what they deserve you know um, and I can see them being very um, you know um, positive um, about the future very optimistic about the future they're um, they're very in touch with their intuition with their emotion they're, they just dreamt about they what they really want to manifest and they're ready to take action on it um, um, I can see they're like very empathic towards others and compassionate um, maybe you know uh, themselves having to do that inner work is going to help them understand uh, their own feelings and, and thoughts better and this way they're gonna be able to understand others feelings um, better as well I can see they're very inspired by anything that has to do with like romance and um, you know, compassion, beauty. Um, they're, I can see like in the near future, like, um, you know, their heart um, opening up again and um, taking like slowly tep steps to, um, you know, a new chapter in their life. Um, at the moment, they're taking that break and it's helping them heal. Um, everything that um, 
you know, ha happened in the past, everything that um, led them to have like anxiety or stress. Um, but now they, they are doing the right thing. They're um, recharging. They're taking that moment for themselves to understand themselves better, to understand, to gain perspective over their life, um, over, over different situations that might have happened. Um, but they're doing the healing in solitude and they, they know that things are going to turn um, the way they want to, that they are going to be able to manifest what they want, they already have in mind um, and they're ready to take action. They're sooner going to be ready to take action and to open up um, emotionally. Um, yeah, They are going to let their intuition guide them, is what I'm seeing with this uh, Knight of Cups. Um, this is all about... Um, you know, into being intuitive, being um, empathic towards others, and and being in tune with your own feelings. Yeah, let's see how uh, they see you. So um, we have the card strength. We have seven of wands and the card justice. Okay. So, I see that they think about you as um, as someone who has a lot of inner strength. They see you as someone who has a lot of inner strength. Someone who is um, who has a lot of determination and um, someone who is not afraid to work hard to get what they want. But they might feel inspired by you, um, the way you deal with um, life and hard situations. That you, the way that you um, show uh, inner strength um, and the way you are just um, you know able to remain strong uh, no matter the the situation um, they see you as someone who has very great inner balance um, and also inner calm yeah um, in order to deal with hard situations they they see you as someone who is able to endure life obstacles um, and overcome them um, quite easily and that's amazing like they feel inspired by you they feel um they admire you and they 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 feel inspired by your strength and the way you deal with life's hardships and also they see you as someone who is very hard working someone as i said someone who is not afraid to work hard to get what they want and also someone who is putting in a lot of work in um, every aspect of their life. They see you as someone who is very honest and very um, strict, you know, at the same time. Uh, but you, you know, you're giving what you're being given. Yeah, you're someone who is reflecting what others uh, give you, someone who knows their self-worth someone who knows how to respect themselves and how to uh, set clear boundaries and um, someone who is focusing on their own dreams and plans and, and works hard in order to um, achieve those things for themselves. Oh, sorry. So, yeah. They have a really good um, opinion about you and they feel very inspired by you and they feel like I can see with this Knight of Cups that they um, they have feelings for you and they're going to be open to um, they're going to be ready to open um, soon um, after they do that inner work you know for for a new connection they're going to be able to um, come forward with an open heart and, and start a new fresh connection and they can start pouring those feelings in yeah, let's see what your oracle cards are saying. So, first we have the card very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Um, yeah, as I said, your person um, knows what they want and they think that life is going to shift around and, and, and give them um, what they want and, and manifest what they really want. And they're going to be a um, able to open up and and go after what they want soon. They're going to take action um, towards that very soon. So the, the intention is there um, and 
they're soon going to be able to take action on that so yeah i like that um and also we have passion allow your heart and soul to sing with joy um they think about you with a lot of passion they have a lot of passion for you and as i said they see you as this amazing um strong hard-working person um honest person that they really admire and feel inspired by so they have a lot of feelings and passion for you um, they are going to be able to allow their heart um, to open up again and, and express those feelings soon. Yeah, I really like that um, for you, group number three. It's just that this person right now is currently, um, you know, recovering, uh, healing some stuff that um, happened to them in the past. Um, you know, maybe they feel like unapproachable. They might come across as... Um, they might come across as um, unapproachable, they might come across as um, hiding, but they are just doing their inner work, they're doing what's best for them, they're taking time for themselves, time apart um, from everyone and everything in order to regain um, perspective and heal themselves, yeah? So there's absolutely nothing wrong with that, it's very good that they are doing that and I can see they're very optimistic about the future and and this connection and they have an amazing op opinion about you and as I said they feel inspired and they like you very much um, they like what kind of person you are and and they, they admire you and they um, aspire to be um, you know to, to be like you and, and not necessarily to be so let's see the other two cards so we have um, a win-win outcome is forecast so i feel like a person thinks that from this whole um, break that they are taking right now it's um going to be a win-win situation um, maybe for you and for them maybe they think that um this way they are healing themselves and also maybe you um have time to focus on those things that you're working so hard on um yeah maybe they think that um also by healing themselves they are going to be able to give you their best and um, they're going to be able to open up in a very honest uh, manner and this is going to help the connection so it's going to be a win-win outcome yeah and also we have it's time to take action so as i said your person is soon going to be ready to take on action um, regarding you regarding this connection um, your person is going to be soon able to open up and take action in um, every aspect of their life. Yeah, they're going to um, do that inner work and they're going to be ready to just take on new opportunities and, and start new chapters um, and new um, challenges. Yeah. So this was your reading group number three. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give a thumbs up to this video and also subscribe to my channel for more videos in the future. Also, don't forget to click on the notification bell to be the first one to see every video I post. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.